So good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for joining this webinar. Uh, my name is Georgina Mika. I'm the host for today. Today we're going to have a webinar about Cyprus and Greece permanent residency programs by property investment. And this webinar is powered by Kasia BC. So Kasia BC is the Central Asia and Southeast Asia Business Chamber. It is a Singapore headquartered commercial company that provides integrated business supports for community of students, aspiring entrepreneurs, startup businesses, small medium enterprises and universities and higher education institutions in Kasia region. We aim to collaborate and sustainable growth, sustainable growth businesses together with uh, by supporting the UN sustainable development goals and applying environmental, social, and corporate governance strategies. If you see uh, the logo later on in my screen, there's an LMV. Well, it's a uh, our business unit, you know, for the immigration business, Kasia has a business unit called LMV, La Mia Vita, called It's My Life in Italian. It's all about making the best out of our lives, how we use our resources to live the life that we want, be free to visit anywhere we want, we like, do what we want, and contribute to society and humankind. So, who are these people behind that? So, the founder of Kasia BC and also La Mia Vita is my colleagues, my business partner, Rudy Fang. Rudy is the CEO for the Kasia BC and I'm the COO. Rudy is a Singaporean citizen, Indonesian born, but Singaporean citizen, a serial entrepreneur, ex-banker, and also has a lot of experience in IT. And he has different businesses and, you know, blockchain, metaphors, that sort of things. While I'm Indonesian citizens, I'm, I live in Jakarta and I'm focusing on immigration business. Okay, so I need to introduce a little bit about our speaker today. Uh, the company that he works is Pavilia. Pavilia is a property developer from Cyprus that's been around since 1977, so it's 40 years in experience. And Pavilia is the market leader, especially for the Cyprus citizenship and residency program. And also uh, has some projects in Greece uh, for the residency program purpose. And our speaker today is Barry Winter. Barry is the director of Southeast Asia and also in charge for UK in Pavilia. And he joined Pavilia in April 2015. And he is highly experienced in the sales and business development in the Southeast Asia region. He's a UK citizen uh, and he, you know, he traveled back and forth uh, between Vietnam because he, before pandemic, he lives in uh, Ho Chi Minh City and during pandemic, he lives in Cyprus and also uh, UK, in London. He is currently in London. He will tell you more about it. So between 2011 and 2015, he was responsible for the sales and business development in China. And from 2016, Barry has been responsible for business development in the Southeast Asian countries and also UK. I'm the main contact for this uh, today's webinar. So here's my contact. I think you all have all have my contacts already. Uh, Cassia headquarters is in the Singapore, and I have my own office in Jakarta. So that's all for now. Uh, I will stop share and I will let Barry do the presentation. Barry, time is yours. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, thank you, Georgina and uh, the Cassia team for inviting me today to uh, to present some information about the, the Cyprus and um, Greece properties. Um, 
So I think today we're focusing on the properties uh, for the next 30 to 40 minutes um, and the type of properties that you can invest in, okay, um, in these two countries. Um, I'm going to focus on, I'm going to look at it from a point of view as an investor because I'm actually obviously a foreign investor myself. As Georgina mentioned, I'm from the UK. Um, but in 2004, myself and my wife, we invested in Cyprus. Um, we then decided to move to Cyprus so and le leave our home country. We've actually then did the processing of the um, permanent residency, followed by the citizenship. So I'm actually dual citizenship um, holder, of UK and Cyprus at the moment. Um, so not only am I been in the industry for 17 years or so um, and can give my obviously professional experience, but also um, I'm one of the few people that have actually done what a lot of our clients are looking to do, okay, um, so I can help them from a personal point of view of, of doing this as well, okay, so um, like I said, um, like Georgina said, I'm actually based at the moment, I'm here in the UK for a few weeks, um, Cyprus is my home, okay, but we do spend a lot of time and have done a lot of time before the pandemic over in Asia, um, I have an office in Ho Chi Minh as well, um, and, and travel all over the Asian region uh, to meet clients and support our partners. Um, I think it's important to for all investors, okay, and looking at this from an investor's point of view, um, to know who the partner is that you're buying property from, okay, and to make sure you have a good partner in the home, your home country as well. Um, you know, especially being a foreign investor, and if you're not going to be living in the in the country that you choose to invest in. Um, you need to make sure that the, the partner is, is a reputable company and, and also has a good future. OK, and that's what I'll try and um, show you today with Perfilia. So Perfilia was founded in 1977 and we're actually the largest privately owned residential developer in Cyprus, uh, dedicated to delivering the best in concept, design, quality and service to our clients. Perfilia is a privately owned company. OK, uh, as I said, we're the largest privately owned company. Here we see the founders, okay, Mr. Iliadis on the left, his daughter, Evangelia, and her husband, Dimitri. These people are uh, hands-on in the company. They're in the office every day. They like to meet every client that visits us, okay, whether the client purchases with us or not. So they will always meet the clients when we visit our head offices. Uh, in the 45 years of history, uh, we've got over 48 international property awards, we have over 250 projects and developments which have been completed or under construction as we speak. And currently today, our portfolio of properties available for clients to choose from is worth over 3 billion euros. Um, we are, as I mentioned earlier, we have offices worldwide. So we have offices in Athens, in Cyprus, obviously, um, in China, in Southeast Asia, uh, in Russia, of the UK. And we have corporations across the globe as well. Now, it's not just about buying the property, okay? Perfilia are here um, to help you with the whole process, okay? And what you see on the screen now is just a few of the services that we, we can offer. For me, I think some of the most important ones are the property management because it, it makes no difference whether you're gonna be living in the property you purchase or whether it's just an overseas investment, you still are gonna need your property managed and maintained. Okay, so Perfilia have a, a company called Blue Orange within the group, which will prop do the full management service. Um, it's, you basically have an, an a la carte menu, if you like, and you can choose the services that you want to, um, to use. We also have a rental department as well. So if there's anybody looking to rent their property after they purchased it, okay, and get a rental return, then obviously our rental department can help you with that and um, obviously give a, a, a stable return every year. And all investors at some point will want to resell their property, okay? And Perfilia have a resales department as well within the group. So we're able, and it's a licensed resales department. There's um, a few mixed conceptions in, in, in the industry as to what needs to be done and can be done when, when promoting um, resales, okay? Cyprus now, you have to be a licensed real estate company to be able to promote resales. Perfilia have this. We have a, a company within our group called MyMove. Um, it was set up by licenses that are there. So we can actually help our clients in the future to resell their property when they're ready. Give you an idea of our, um, our projects. Okay, a quick glimpse of a project, an older project, which has been maintained and managed by Perfilia, by Blue Orange, our management company. 
This project you see on the screen now is over 12 years old. And this photo was taken at the um, end of last year. I think it was December, November, December. Um, so you can see how well maintained it is. Okay, and this is important because a lot of companies in Cyprus, especially Cyprus, only maintain projects for two years and then they stop the maintenance programs and then it's down to the owners to maintain the whole project. So you have to then get a committee together. Okay, and then assign a new management company. With Perfilia, we are there to manage our properties forever. Okay, and this is the, the results of, of that. Okay, so you can see it's a beautiful project, 12 years old, and this maintains the values for our, our, our clients as well. So when a client wants to resell their property, they're going to get the, the best return on that property you know, compared to other projects in the, in the same region. Um, it's important to understand as well that all properties that you buy in Cyprus are freehold properties. Okay, there is no restrictions for foreign people to invest in Cyprus and own property as well as the land. So foreigners are legally allowed to own land in Cyprus. Okay, so basically, if you purchase a property in Cyprus, you own that asset. Okay. Now, as Georgina mentioned, portfolio of market leaders in the permanent residency. Um, obviously, we did a, a seminar recently about the residency and about Cyprus as a country. OK, but obviously, if anybody needs more information on that, we can obviously pass that on to you. Um, but just to highlight that all the properties I'm going to show you today, OK, are available for your Cyprus permanent residency, OK, or your Greece permanent residency. Um, and as we know, and um, you know, there are four main residency permits uh, visas in Europe, and that is Cyprus, Portugal, Greece, and Spain. Um, Cyprus, obviously, we focus on Cyprus and Greece. Um, personally, uh, I think the Cyprus and Greece, uh, the two of the cheaper ones, okay, definitely, but two of the easiest ones to um, main, to apply for and maintain. Cyprus is a one-time application. So after you've made the application and you have had the approval, it's you have it for life. You do not need to renew it again. OK, whereas the Greece one, it's a, a semi-permanent, OK, where it is a renewal uh, program after five years. OK, so you know, relatively low maintenance involved in keeping your um, your visas or your permanent residencies for those two countries compared to the other countries. Now. We're going to start with Greece. Um, I'm going to show you, we, we basically have a brand new project in Greece, which was launched a few months ago. Um, as a developer, Perfilia have been in Greece for many, many years. We've already completed four tower projects in Athens, um, which are all completed and sold, all sold out. Hence the reason we launched this new project <coughs> in the center of Athens. Um, we also have land in Crete. And also there were some projects in Crete um, townhouses and apartments, which have also been completed and fully sold out. So we're now looking at relaunching some new um, new projects in the islands as well, which will come later this year. Um, so despite the pandemic over the last few years, Perfilia have continued to develop their properties. Construction has continued, okay, and we are continuing to launch new projects at these times. Now, Elysio Suites is situated in Athens. OK, as we see from the map here, it's a very central location. You see here, um, we're looking at Elisa, where the arrow is here, close to number seven. Um, it, it's literally halfway between the Riviera area of Athens and the, um, the main town, OK, and the old town of Athens, where you will have the um, Acropolis and all the museums and the main tourist area. OK, so it's very it's a very central location within Athens. The project itself, OK, um, basically the advantages that we're looking at in Athens, Greece at the moment is that there is no VAT when you purchase a property, OK, in Greece. And this is until the end of this year, 2022. So you're currently saving 24 percent VAT. OK, this is uh, an in, in, been introduced by the government um, about 18 months ago. So they've got a couple of years or two and a half years of VAT free properties. OK, so it also allows you, obviously, as we mentioned, to um, apply for the permanent residency program, uh, which obviously gives you the freedom to travel through Europe. And the prices that we have on this Athens project is starting now at three hundred and two thousand one hundred. And I will obviously show you some of these options. 
So what we have at Elysio um, is 56 two-bedroom apartments. Okay, they're all two-bedroom, two-bathroom. Some of them even have offices and um, desk space areas. The, the design of this project has been designed by um, some well-known architects in Greece. Um, and it is, if you look at the concept and the, and the look of it, it's very similar to a boutique hotel. Okay, and the, the architects are specialized in boutique hotels, okay, which is one of the reasons we, we incorporated them to, to do this for us. It's also been designed within the price range of the permanent residency program. Uh, um, hence the reason every property is a two bedroom because we felt and doing the market research that this was the optimum property design and type that was needed for the residency permit um, and the, the clients looking for the residency permit. Um, this is the, the, uh, the location of where our project is situated. As I said, it's, um, it's in the heart of Athens. It's very close to the, um, the, the coastline here, which is the Riviera area, as they call it. Um, it has very close also to the largest port in Europe, okay, called Piras Port. Okay, we have um, easy, it's easy accessibility across the, the, the city. As you can see here, we have the subway lines, which are in place. Um, this is all done for the Athens Olympics, so it's all brand, very, very new, not brand new, but very new, and they keep extending it as well. So um, it's, it's a very good connectivity across the island, across the, the city. Now, the types of properties we have here, we actually have five different types of properties um, at Elysio, uh, ranging from 65 square metres up to 85 square metres. Um, obviously, all of them with external verandas. Okay, so as I said, there's a total of 56 properties. Now, we're just going to show you, you know, some options here. We actually have 10 different designs. So obviously, as some, if somebody's interested in this, we can be more specific and, and look at the designs on a one-to-one -one basis. But this just gives you a quick overview. <clears throat> what we have here, obviously, we have um, a single-level apartment on the left, type A, um, two verandas, okay, uh, two bedrooms, as I said. We also go to the bottom level here and we have um, we have three different duplexes. So we have two level um, apartments. So we have the, a single bedroom on the main living level. And then we go upstairs to um, a duplex, uh, you know, a second level where there is a master bedroom, okay, and master bathroom, okay. And also we have ground floor apartments here as well at the, um, at the Elysio. So, as you see here, as I said earlier, it's a very modern style building, very hotel-like. It is under construction now. We have just literally started groundwork, okay, at the project. Um, construction is gonna be finished in um, June, 2024. So it's a two-year project for construction. Um, we launched this about three months ago and we are already over 50% sold. So it is selling very, very well. Um, I'm just going to show you a few images. Obviously, these are images because it's under construction. So this is how it will look when it's completed. Um, very unusual, actually, to get um, ground floor apartments in the city centre of Athens. So this is a unique feature of our project. And we actually have four properties within the project which have ground floor um, access and nice gardens. OK, so very unique opportunity. Um, and as we go through, I'm just going to show you a few samples of the images of different designs. OK, very, you know, luxurious designs, marble flooring, floor to ceiling windows, lets lots of light in. Every, every property will have a veranda. OK, you can see this. It's very, um, very similar to hotels, like a boutique hotel style. And obviously internally, OK, um, the clients would all get the choice of their furnishings. So they will choose the color of the marble flooring. They will choose the color of the the um, the, the bedroom, uh, the bathrooms. OK, <clears throat> so the, the kitchen cupboards would all be chosen. So basically, um, from an off plan project point of view, OK, you do get the choices to make it your home and how you want it to be. Um, it makes no difference whether the property is off plan or under construction for your application of permanent residency. OK, um, and also with the Greek program at the moment, we can do everything remotely. OK, um, so somebody can choose a property remotely. Um, they can start the process of their application. And then when the lawyer is ready to make the application to the government for your permanent residency, then you just need to travel to do the biometric data. 
okay um, but basically uh, you know as a team we can all help you process the the visa quickly and obviously the visa is then approved within two months so it's a very quick visa program so it just gives you a quick overview on the Cyprus um, uh, sorry obviously on the Greece properties that we have currently available we're going to move on to Cyprus now where as a developer this is where our head office is based um, and which is in Paphos. And obviously, because we are a Cypriot developer primarily, we have many more projects available. So we, you can see on the screen now that located across Cyprus, we have around 40 different projects, some of them under construction, some of them um, completed, um, some of them in village locations, some of them on the coast, you know, Minthis Golf Resorts, okay, the one tower, tallest residential tower in Europe. So there's many options. What I'm going to try and do today, though, is just to focus on a few, just to show you the different types of property that you could be purchasing. So as a quick overview for the um, for the category F application of Cyprus uh, residency permit, uh, where you have to spend less than 300,000 euros, um, you have some options here like at Domus, where on the left hand side, the project is a townhouse and apartment project. It's a completed project. Okay, and it's, it's ranging from 247,000 euros. Then we move to Papilia Gardens, which is a townhouse and apartment project, again, with a centralized swimming pool, situated in the, in the center of the city of Paphos. And we have properties there ranging at 190,000. Um, then we have Ava Plaza. Ava Plaza is an off-plan project. We've just recently launched this in Paphos, and it's a combination of apartments, shops, and offices. Um, so there may be people out there that want to, uh, to purchase an office or a shop, you know, looking down the commercial road, okay, which you can still do and still get your residency permit. And then we have Anarita, which is, a, again, apartment and townhouse project, uh, where we have some townhouses uh, ranging from 170,000 euros. So this, just, uh, I'm just, this is just a summary overview of a few of the projects. Um, I'm going to go into more detail in the next few slides. Um, the Grove, okay, on the top left here. Again, this is a, a villa and townhouse project, so no apartments. But here we, we are starting now over 300,000 euros, which is the category 6.2 application for permanent residency, which gives you the residency within two months, okay, of submitting your documents. And obviously from this price range and up, we have many different options available. Uh, as I said, we have the Grove, we have Vida Suites, which are situated in Limassol, uh, which is an under construction project and will be ready in February next year. We have Vista, uh, Vista Residence and Houses, which is in um, Limassol, again, completed houses with a lovely community um, of houses around, situated around a swimming pool. And then we have projects like Konya Park um, 2 and 3, which are villa projects where the villa will be constructed for you. So you choose the villa design. Um, basically the plot of land you would like it to be purchased on, uh, built on, sorry, and then we would construct the villa that suits your um, needs. So just looking at these, these uh, projects in a little bit more depth, like I said, Domus, okay, it's a combination project, under uh, completed, okay, and what we have as a company, and just to, to show you a sample plan here, okay, is Every single property within the project will be different. So Perfilia do not design one two bedroom apartment and just duplicate it floor after floor after floor. OK, with all of our projects, OK, there will be different property designs within each project. OK, so that's hence the reason we are showing you here floor plan, a sample floor plan and it's ranging from 99 square meters to 200 square meters. Okay, we have four bedrooms, we have three bedrooms, two bedrooms, we even have one bedrooms, okay, at these projects, okay, ranging from 99 square meters. And this one you can see on the screen is a two bedroom, two bathroom, uh, kitchen area, lounge dining, okay, with a veranda as well. Um, with Domus at the moment, we currently have 11 properties still remaining and available. Um, it's a, a situa situated just in one of the suburbs of, um, of Paphos, um, close to the main tourist areas of the Coral Beach area, okay, close to all the beach locations, so very easy to, to reach the, the main tourist locations of the area. 
This is a picture of the internal, okay, of one of the properties. Um, what you see here is how the property would be delivered to you without a furniture package. All of our properties are, are included as you see them, okay? Our furniture packages are optional extras for clients to invest in. Obviously, depending on the property size and design will be to depend on the furniture package available. Um, but we have an after sales team that are in place to help all clients with the ongoing services after they purchased. So we can actually help them <clears throat> with the designing, inter interior designing, and also to order and um, construct a furniture package to suit the client, depending on the property they've chosen. We then move to the Grove. The Grove is, um, there's no apartments on the Grove. This again is in Paphos. It's a townhouse project where we have um, a project of literally two bedroom or three bedroom townhouses with a central swimming pool. As you can see, this is a photo. So this is a completed project. Um, there are some, uh, I think there's about 11 properties left on the houses and three villas left on this project. Um, again, I've driven from this project down to the beaches. It takes me two and a half minutes. Um, we do have individual videos of the, the property. We have individual presentations of the properties as well to show you. Um, but you can see a standard, typical two bedroom townhouse floor plan here. Um, two bedroom, two bathroom. Okay. Um, and you can see the picture here with the furniture. So you can see the previous photo, uh, project had no furniture. This is a house which one of our clients has, has chosen the furniture already. Um, and this is how this is the furniture they've chosen to fit into their their specific house. OK, so color schemes and all of this type of thing, curtain colors. This is all optional for the clients to choose. When it comes to villas, Coral Vista is one of our most popular, close to the tourist area of Coral Bay. Um, this is, again, is a villa project where we have 20 villas being constructed, um, starting at 400,000 euros. There are three different designs here. so. As a client, you would have the choice of design and also you choose the plot that you want it to be built on based on the, the views that you like. OK, um, again, the sample plans here, these projects, properties are ranging from 121 square meters to 156 square meters for a three bedroom townhouse. Uh, sorry, for a three bedroom villa. OK, swimming pools are normally extra on these type of properties. Um, same with the Conyer Park that we look at now. We are looking at um, a swimming pool being a, an additional extra if somebody wants it. But, you know, it, again, as a company, we are very flexible. We listen to the clients, OK, and we can adapt and change things accordingly um, as much as we can um, based on the building regulations. But again, like I said this morning, it's just trying to give you a general overview of the type of properties that we actually currently have available. Again, we have apartments in Limassol. Um, this project actually, Aria, is a, a residence area, okay, in the heart of Limassol. And it's a combination of villas, townhouses, and apartments. Okay, so the villas would all have their own swimming pools. The townhouses, again, would have a communal swimming pool, and also the apartments would share a swimming pool as well. Um, here, um, again, starting at 100 to 111 square meters for the, the size of the apartments. And this is the type of views that you will get and the finishes that you will get at this project. I'm sure you're, you're seeing from the images and the photos I'm showing you, Perfilia are a quality developer. Uh, you know, we're a mid to high end developer. We have very good quality throughout all of our ranges. OK, um, again, you can see here some of the views from our Limassol projects. This is called Vida. OK, it's an amazing view of the city across the town and down to the coastline where you will see the construction here of our one tower, which is the tallest tower in the European Union, as well as Cyprus. So this is um, this is actually now completed. OK, um, which I'll show you shortly. Now we have um, one remaining unit left at our Amea residence. OK, this has been very popular for our Asian clients. Um, we are under construction now. We are due to complete in September this year. So not long now until it's the final completion and the deliveries will take place. But we have one unit left here, which is a one bedroom apartment. And it's a large one bedroom apartment. It's a 96 square meters. OK, it's situated in the city center and it's on the market for 250,000 euros plus VAT. OK, so um, anybody interested in a um, 
in a, a nearly ready apartment in the center of town, okay, this is a, a good option. As I mentioned earlier, we have other resale options as well. Um, as I said, we have a resale department, okay, so projects like Pophilia Gardens, where they're a slightly older projects, we do have resales available, okay. Currently, there are two and three bedroom options available on this project. And, and you can see here the starting prices and the square meterages, um, just to give you a quick overview. Okay, your starting square meterage price here on this project is starting around 1,720 per square meter. That's for a three bedroom townhouse, um, 157 square meters. So, um, you know, you can see, as I mentioned earlier, that every property is different. Okay, it's a different design, it's a different square meterage in every project. So, and you can clearly see that with this, um, this table here, that you can see there's not one property there with the same square meterage. So it, it basically giving clients options within the project. So even though we have 40 projects available, so we have different options for the clients and locations, in, inside each project, there are even more choices for the client. Townhouses, as I mentioned, starting at 170,000 euros here, a townhouse in, in um, Anarita, okay, which is a, a good um, investment for anybody you want in a, a permanent residency, okay, on the category F, application, which is obviously the, the one it takes um, 16 to 18 months. Now, just coming towards the end now, and I'm just going to show you um, our flagship projects. OK, there may be clients there that are looking for a high end property, um, maybe wanting to come and live. OK, and want something really, really luxurious. We have two, two options here for you. OK, we have the one tower, which is completed. This is the tallest residential tower in Cyprus and the European Union. It is now finished. Um, everything is open. People are taking delivery and clients are now living here. We have 83 properties at this tower. We only have five left. Okay, so um, starting price here is ranging from around 3 million euros. Now, moving on to Minthis. Minthis is another very, very popular project of ours. Um, it's Minthis Golf and Residential Resort. So Pophilia have a golf course within the group. Um, the clubhouse is completed. The golf course is the oldest golf course in Cyprus, and we have renovated it and spent nearly 10 million euros on renovation um, to bring the golf course up to PGA standard. Um, what you see in now is the village centre, the wellness centre, the spa area. This is all going to be, this is all due to occur for completion in July this year. So only a few months away. Are you there? Yeah. I'm here. Can you hear me? Very. Yeah. Yeah. Can you continue? Yep. Yeah. And at the Minthis Golf Resort, okay, we have three different types of properties available. Residents, villas, and suites. So the residents are the large villas, okay, starting just under 2 million euros. And you would then choose the land and the design. We currently have over 15 different designs available of these larger residence properties. There are also smaller villa options called villas, and these are starting at around just over the 1 million euros. Um, and these are two and three bedroom options, which are pre-designed and we are constructing. So there may be some of these available now, and there may be some under construction and available in a few months. And then we have the suites. The suites are all two bedroom apartments, and these are being used for hotel services. So they all come fully furnished, um, fully equipped to move into immediately. Okay, so with the suites though, these are specifically for investors who want a rental return because we will basically take on the property for you and we will give you a rental return over the next 10 years. Okay, which is um, estimated to be around five to 7% per year rental return of the, um, of the property. Now, this is not just of the property, sorry, it's of the, of the whole resort. So you get a return of the shops and cafes and restaurants as well. So there is no hotel at this project, but we will use the services of the um, hotel at the suites. And I have actually stayed at the suites myself um, three weeks ago when I was in Cyprus. I actually tested the services there and it is exactly like checking into a hotel. They take you to your, your suite um, and everything is, is it's a beautiful location and everything about the apartment is like being at a hotel. 
Okay, so any investors there looking for a, a, a assured return, okay, they will get it here at the suites. And these prices are starting from 780,000 euros. So just to show you a few of the designs, okay, obviously it's very modern, very contemporary. Okay, three bedroom, four bedroom villas are available here. Some of them are two story, some of them are single level. Okay, um, so there is options, like I said earlier, with all of our, our projects, there are options within the projects. And this is the Azusa suite, which is under construction now. Okay, um, this is the second phase of the suites. Okay, the first phase is completed and are open and, and people are staying in them. The second phase is due for completion next year. So there is still um, a number of available units here if somebody wanted to look at that option. And the suites starting around, sorry, starting around 104 square meters here for this, the two bedroom suites at the Mintis Golf Resort. Now, as an investor, okay, we all wanna know how much does it cost every year? Okay, we have a, a brief outline here, okay, just to, to run through with you. Um, basically, depending on the project that you are staying on or the villa that you have, okay, that you've invested into, um, you will have a communal or management fee, okay? Then you have a local government fee. So a small fee every year to the local government. To give you an example, where I live, okay, my fee is 180 euros per year. Okay, it's going to be no more than 320. Some regions are, are a little bit more expensive, but where I live in Konya, it's only 180 euros. Medical insurance is an optional extra. Okay, some people want to use this, some people don't. It's not needed because it's not needed. Firstly, it's not needed for your application of permanent residency, and it's not needed anyway because we have a national health system in Cyprus now. But it's there just to show um, clients how much it, you would need to pay if you wanted it. And then you have the electricity, water and property insurance. So all of this together, it comes to less than 1% of the property value. So if somebody is buying a property for 300,000 euros for residency, um, then the, um, the running costs per year are going to be around about 2,500 maximum per year. OK, and that's based on somebody living in the property full time. So if the property is going to be empty, the fees will be, the, these obviously costs will be less. OK, and obviously, clearly, OK, that amount of money can be easily obtained through renting the property if you're not going to be using it yourself. Um, you know, on average, a property in Cyprus will be gaining around four to five percent return per year on rental income. OK, so it's uh, it can cover the, the ongoing cost easily. Now, just to finish. Um, the last couple of slides is just about the market themselves, because, again, as investors, we all want to know what's the market like, you know, what's Cyprus like you know, from a property investment point of view? Well, just to show you here, <clears throat> since 2019, OK, we have had an increase up to 2019. Sorry, we are an increase in foreign investors coming to the country. Then obviously in 2020, everything stopped very, very quickly because of the travel restrictions. Um, and obviously a foreign investor normally would want to travel to see the property before they invest. So 2020 was a down year, a very low year. Um, and then 2021, we started to see an uptake again. OK, so um, it actually started rising. OK, more and more people, were, especially from Europe, not so much Asia, were starting to be allowed to travel um, from the middle of last year. And we can clearly see again that Paphos and Limassol are uh, the... Um, from the EU buyers and from the non-EU buyers, we see that Paphos and Limassol are the two number one destinations on the island, okay, and have been for many years, and it's continued um, since the uh, post-pandemic. Um, <clears throat> and you can clearly see it here on this chart as well. Again, these charts, these figures, okay, these are not our figures as Perfilia. These are from the land registry offices. They're from companies like PwC or KY, so it's all independent figures. So you can see clearly here that Limassol and Paphos are number one and number two destinations for foreign investors. You know, the capital city, Nicosia, okay, is not a good location for investment. And this is unusual for a capital city. As we all know in the property industry, normally capital cities are good investments. In Cyprus, it's the opposite. Okay, the best investment areas are going to be around a coastline because of the fact that the industry is driven by the tourism, by um, people wanting to be on the coast, 
So, you know, even the Nicosian people have their holiday homes in Limassol, in Paphos, in Larnaca areas. So they come to the coast at weekends, you know, they, they come away from the city. So the city is just the capital, okay, uh, political capital. Again, when it comes to reselling, we get asked a lot, who are we reselling to? I, we can only resell to foreigners. No, that's not the case. Okay, you can see by the screen in front of you now, the black area of the graph is the local sales. So Cyprus not only has a good foreign investors um, industry for property, it also has a good turnover of sales to locals and foreigners, uh, local people, okay, and Cypriots in Cyprus. So again, when somebody wants to resell, we have the option to sell to foreigners, but importantly, the local market is also very, very strong. When it comes to renting, <clears throat> again, people ask us about renting. Um, up to 2019, again, it was booming. Prices were going up, more and more inquiries for renting property. Um, 2020, obviously, as with every industry, every in property industry across the world, the overseas and foreign sector, it quietened down considerably. Um, but since 2021 and 2022, we've seen an increase again, okay, of requests. And just to give you a yield estimation, you're looking around, on average, around 5% per year per return. This is based on an apartment. The houses is a lower figure, but that's purely because most people buying houses, okay, and villas would buy them to live in, whereas somebody looking to get a rental return, they would naturally buy an apartment. And basically we have an all year, because of the ski centers that we have and the golf areas that we have, the golfing is a winter um, from October through to April, okay, we actually have quite a, a good rental market all year round. Obviously it peaks from May, June, July, August, September, and October, but even the other months, there is a, a, a good rental uh, market to be had. So Cyprus can offer an all year round market. And importantly, people say to us, where should we invest? Well, we can see by this chart, okay, which is generated by SciStat, okay, which anybody can get this information, that Paphos is the number one location for foreign people when they visit Cyprus. Um, and it has been year on year. Okay, um, so again, if you want to resell your property, if you want to rent your property, okay, yeah, when you invest, you got to look for the areas where there are people, okay, and where people want to be. So I, I would always recommend Paphos as the number one and Limassol as the number two locations. So obviously that is um, just an overview from my side, um, just to try and you know, give you a general overview about the properties. OK, if there's any questions, I'm obviously happy to answer any questions today or I'm sure if Georgina has any one to one meetings uh, arranged, we can have one to one meetings as well. Um, so I'll hand you back to Georgina at the moment. Thank you, Georgina. Yeah, thank you, Barry. Uh, can you just uh, before the q and I would like to recap uh, a little bit about the comparison between, you know, Cyprus, Greece, uh, Spain uh -huh. and Portugal. That page, please. Let me recap a little bit. And OK. Yeah, can I can I do the <laughs> replace you to do the presentation for this page only? Yeah, I'm gonna go back to it now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just uh, got uh, one person joining, so I would like to uh, there we go. do a little bit recap. Okay, so uh, let me uh, recap one more time. A little bit slower this time. So basically, uh, these are the four EU countries that have the a residency permit by a property investment. This is These are the four most popular uh, destinations for a residency permit with a property. So Cyprus started at uh, 300,000 euro, but there are also options for the 125. So the difference is that the 300, for the 300,000 euros, uh, you can apply for three generations, for example, you can bring your parents and your kids up to um, 24. Is it correct, Mary? 24? Yeah, tw tw 25. Yeah. 25. Yeah. Okay. 25. Well, the 100 and also uh, two months uh, uh, application process is so very fast. Yeah. And for the 100, minimum 125,000 euro, it's only... Uh, two generations, so you cannot bring your parents. And also the process might take 
16 months or is it correct very it's around yes, 16, 16 to 18 months yeah for that second yeah, 16 process to 20 months. so it's not like an expedited process so that's the difference so can i just say going, sorry georgina can I, with the yeah. just sorry to interrupt you with the second option where it takes longer to apply for it doesn't mean you cannot come to cyprus because what we do is we can apply for a temporary residency that you can stay in Cyprus until your permanent residency is approved. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, that's cool. All right, thanks for the additional information. So, uh, for Portugal, uh, it started with uh, two hundred eighty thousand euros for outside the properties outside Lisbon, Porto, and Algarve. And the coastal area, um, Alger is the most, uh, the main destination for coastal area. And also, that's the 280 is in the non-urban uh, rehabilitation area. And also, uh, if you want to have uh, property in the urban rehabilitation area, it's uh, started at 350. But it's all outside Lisbon, Porto, and Algarve. If you want the property in Lisbon, Porto, Algarve. Now you cannot have the residential property anymore and you only have, can buy for Golden Visa. Yeah? For the Golden Visa, you can only buy commercial property at minimum 500,000. Okay. So for Greece, it started with uh, 250,000 euros. And for Cyprus and Greece, both are new property, correct, Barry? Yes. Yeah, for, for new properties. While in Portugal, for the 280, you get the property at minimum 30 years old. So yeah, that's- Sorry, Georgina, just to, um, just to clarify, with Greece, you can actually buy secondhand property as well yes. and apply for your residency visa, okay? Yeah, yeah. So for, and for Cyprus also the same with the new property. Cyprus is that, okay. It's new property for the category 6.2, which is the fast track over 300,000, but it can be secondhand property for the lower value option. Uh, okay, all right, thanks. And for Spain, it's 500 minimum. Uh, you can buy one or more property, but total is minimum 500,000 for the golden visa for the residency permit. Uh, it, this can be secondary property or the new property. Is, total is uh, 500,000. And uh, when it comes to property, usually uh, the client asks one thing is the, how much is the you know, uh, average uh, square meters, the price per square meter. So I can say, you know, I've, I've already done my research. So for Cyprus and Greece, for the new property in the main city, like Athens, for example, it's around 4,000 euros per square meters. While in the Spain and Portugal uh, are the same, similar, you know, let's say in a, uh, Lisbon, in a big city, let's say Lisbon and Porto or in Barcelona and Madrid is at least 7,000 per square meters. And in, in also in Portugal or uh, in Spain, this price is not for the new property. It's the 7,000 euro per square meter is for the, you know, it's the, let's say in Portugal, in this one is for the property that's uh, 30 years old. So, and also, uh, what else? Uh, oh, Schengen countries. Okay. All are including in, uh, uh, are Schengen countries except for Cyprus. So very, uh, uh, Schengen is for traveling only, yeah? so all our European Union, European Union is for a political trade investment purpose, the agreement is for a trade investment and political purpose, while uh, Schengen is for traveling purpose, so Cyprus is a non-Schengen area, so um, when is, uh, you know, uh, the estimated time, uh, year, for, okay. for Cyprus to join the Schengen? Then. Okay, yeah, you're right. Well, the Schengen is a, is a travel permit area. Okay, there's actually, not all European countries are part of it. There's only 25 countries, European countries, part of the Schengen zone. Um, Cyprus will make 26 when they go in. They're the next ones to enter. 
Um, the application for the Schengen membership has been put to the European Union in 2020. Okay, there should have been a final answer by the end of 2021, but because of COVID, they delayed everything. So we're hoping for the final answer this year. Um, but as I, I mentioned earlier to, to, um, to one of the clients, we, we have many clients coming to Cyprus and not being a member, a full member of Schengen yet has not deterred anybody because when you're in Cyprus, you can get a Schengen visa approved within two to three days. OK, and many of our clients who are living there or coming on holiday to Cyprus to visit their homes, they just you know, make the application with the lawyer's help in Cyprus um, and they get their one year visa is the initial one for Schengen. And then when they renew it, it's a five year Schengen visa. OK, so um, it should be hoping for full membership this year. OK, very, it's, uh, it's very useful information. Thanks for the updates. And what else? Let me check. Let me check. Uh, mm, mm, oh, uh, the residency requirement. Okay. The residency requirement for Cyprus is uh, one every two years. Correct? Very. And for Greece is zero. You don't need to go there. There's no minimum yeah, stay a, in one year. In Portugal, it's uh, seven days uh, per year or if you want to do it uh, uh, all at once in uh, two years, you're also welcome. It's 14 days in two years. Yeah, the Cyprus course, ones, you're right yeah. with the Cyprus one, Georgina, you're right, it's, um, it's one day every two years after the approval has been given. But also, if somebody cannot travel at the moment but still wants to get the visa, the residency for their family, we can make remote applications and Cyprus will give approval before you visit Cyprus. So it's the only European country where you can actually have a full approval before you visit. Uh, that one is correct, yeah, because, uh, yeah, that one is uh, correct. You get uh, the other country, uh, the approval will be given after you get the biometrics. Yeah. Yeah. And for Spain, it's the same as uh, Greece. There's no minimum stay. And uh, for the, what else? Oh, for the renewal, Cyprus is the only country within this four, within these four countries that you don't need any renewal at all. One time application and that's all. While for Portugal, uh, within the first five years, you have to do two times renewal. The first time in the first uh, in the third year and the second time in the fifth year you have to do renewal. And for Greece, it's a renewal every every five years. Yeah. And Spain, uh, the second year is the first renewal, and then you got the residency card, and after that you got two years. So the fourth year you have the second renewal, and that will be for the next five years. And what else? Let me. Ah, um, oh, so root to citizenship. Okay, root to citizenship. Cyprus and Greece, uh, seven years. Correct, Barry. Yes, you have to stay, and obviously, um, Cyprus. There's no requirement for anything as long as you stay in the country and prove residency for seven years. Whereas Greece, you would need to have a language test as well and be able to speak fluent uh, Greek. Okay, so uh, how, how many years for Greece for the citizenship? Is it seven years? Seven years as well, yeah. Once, yeah. The, okay. once you have your residency permit, it's basically the same as most European countries now, where you have a residency permit, which would then lead you to uh, citizenship later. Yes, uh, for uh, Portugal, it's the sixth, the sixth year you can apply for, uh, for the uh, citizenship and Spain after 10 years. Uh, what else? Um, um, I think that's all. Uh, language, uh, Cyprus is uh, mostly English because it's uh, until 1960 belonged to the British colony. Yeah. Right? So the yeah. education, is it education and also uh, legal system. Correct, Barry? Yes, everything is done in English. So even your contract to sell, the business language in Cyprus, everything is in English. 
okay whereas in greece everything uh, the contracts of sale and all the legal documents would be in greek okay but the legal documents for cyprus 100 is in english oh wow that's that's nice to know because in other country is uh, uh, in the local uh, language uh, what about the banking i would like to know about the banking i mean the banking form is it in cypriot or in english yeah you have the the forms would be they have greek on the forms but um they would also have english on the forms as well and most banks would give you the option of it greek or english oh, so okay. if, it, if it's nice. a local person opening a bank account they might want to do it in greek but it makes no difference you know, banks government offices all the forms everything can be in english um okay i think uh that's all for now okay uh, i will open a q and a and then because there's uh, not so many of us and everybody knows no know, knows me so yeah you can just pop up a question and you know verbally is better yeah okay any questions i just like to say obviously as a developer for everybody that perfilia yes we are promoting the immigration okay because obviously a lot of people from outside of europe want the residency permit for their families But if there's anybody looking just for a property investment, because obviously we have people inside European Union buying from us that are not looking for the residency permit, they're just looking for a good investment. Okay, we we obviously just sell properties as well. Okay, so um, the residency is an as an additional option for anybody investing in Cyprus. Oh, uh, okay. So uh, anybody uh, wants to ask questions? No. Yeah, because before before this session, uh, we've already had some uh, Q and A yeah. session as well. So, will we get a copy of this um, presentation? Yes, yes, of course, no problem. Yeah, yeah. We also have uh, other uh, presentation material and also videos. You know, uh, focusing on the Cyprus only, focusing on Greece. Only.